Quality of life and life expectancy to a great extent depend on scientific advancements and how quickly these advancements are introduced into everyday practice. The gap between research and clinical work is a serious problem. By developing translational medicine, Kazan University aims to eliminate obstacles on the way to integrating these two components. What does it mean, translation? It's very quick from bench, from lab, to bedside, to clinic. New technology, new knowledge should be fastly moved from lab to clinic. So translation, it's main priority for us, not only in science, but also in education. Our 7P Translational Medicine Strategic Academic Unit comprises educational, scientific and clinical activities, serves as a ground for the coordination on interdisciplinary medical research and practical education. What does 7P stand for? We have expanded on the traditional concept of 4P medicine that includes personalization, prevention, prediction and participation. Our additional 3Ps are providing, which stands for staff training, preemptive through research and development, and point of care, meaning that healthcare is given anytime, anywhere, and not only in the hospital environment. Do we have professionals to introduce this personalized or 4P medicine in health care? No. So, we have to provide the education such kind of specialist and its additional P, providing. We have to develop new technology, we have to look in forward and preemptive new technology, cheaper one and more precise. So it's next P, preemptive. And of course, we have got very good infrastructure. Our clinic is point of care, next P, point of care. When we will do clinical trace in field of personalized medicine for quick translation of all scientific research and data scientific to clinic. Kazan Federal University is the only educational institution in Russia that hosts the full cycle of preclinical and clinical research in medicine. New methods are tested at our university clinic. There are four centers of excellence and 17 labs that produce world-level research. Leading research associate Oleg Gusev has received a COSPAR prize for his work. We are working in the frame of a new laboratory, initially named Extreme Biology. So it's been done with the support of Kazan University and several Japanese institutions. So what we do, we study the special organisms that can tolerate excessive abiotic stresses, we can survive excessive dose of radiation, the space environment and so on. So from the genomic approach, we try to see uh, how they can do it, what is the genomic background before that and so on. 7P Strategic Academic Unit is open for international cooperation. Kazan University currently has about 200 local and overseas partners in the medical field. One of the most ambitious projects is called Smart IT Translational Medicine Clinic. Our employees work on it together with our Japanese colleagues from Riken and Juntendo University. Kazan is a very uh, how can I say, center for medical uh, so activity in here. So uh, we have a common purpose we could have. So to improve the quality of the med medical uh, service in the hospital. Scientific breakthroughs and innovative projects require interdisciplinary work. That's why the 7P unit includes physicians, physicists, biologists, IT experts, economists and even linguists. The latter are involved in Cochrane Russia's work, the Center of Cochrane Collaboration, created at Kazan University in 2015. The collaboration collects and systemizes worldwide data on treatment methods and medications. Uh, Kazan Federal University, as a classical university with medical uh, education and research in it, presented itself as a strong platform 
uh, to establish Cochrane Russia and we are really very proud about that. We have noticed uh, changes in respect of the ability of, uh, of Cochrane evidence to be used here in Russia. Um, I mentioned in my speech that uh, already over 500 um, Cochrane reviews um, have been translated uh, into Russian. Kazan is, is really, um, I think, privileged but also at the centre of, uh, of the evidence-based uh, med medicine work in Russia. Um, and uh, it's wonderful to be here and not perhaps somewhere else that, that um, uh, you might think of, like Moscow or, uh, or St. Petersburg. It's a real privilege and a joy to be uh, established the coordinating hub for Russia here in Kazan. Kazan University has modernized medication production facilities in its disposal. We plan to open production before 2020. Kazan Federal University entered the Pharma 2020 program in 2011. We were tasked with establishing a research and education center in medications and medical substances production. The infrastructure that we have today allows us to engage in full-cycle preclinical production testing, from synthesis to in vitro and in vivo trials. It is imperative for the university to not only develop research, but also graduate new generations of professionals who are capable of innovation in their everyday practice. One of the facilities that helps immensely in this process is our medical simulation center that has become a prototype for similar centers in Russia and Japan. KFU educates not only medical doctors, but also other healthcare professionals. One of the main objectives of the 7P Strategic Academic Unit is to create a unified research and education environment for healthcare students. A well-rounded expert is the key to saving lives and preserving health of our citizens. Kazan University aspires to educate such professionals and thus make all our lives better. <laughs>